Yo guys, how you all doing today? It's me, it's morning, about 75. Guys, I'm back from our reaction video. Uh, need to talk about that, don't we? So guys, as I said in the intro there, kind of need to speak about the the Derby defeat there. Unfortunately, we, we ran out 2-1 uh, two one losers against Hearts this afternoon. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the negatives out there first because I think the positives outweigh the negatives um in this scenario. So first things first, two really bad goals to lose. I don't think there's any ifs or buts about that. We lost two ridiculously bad goals. I've heard a lot of people say that they were quality goals, and on the one hand they were quality goals, but from our point of view very poor goals to lose, especially the first goal, um, losing the possession in the park the way we did. Unacceptable. There's just no ifs or buts about that. Second goal, again, you know, second goal, a bit of class, you know, it has to be said. Um, you know, we do really well to get back into the game through a goal with Chris Cadden, which, you know, at that point in time, it didn't look like it was, it was coming, but we just didn't have enough in the tank, you know. Um, Craig Gordon doing what Craig Gordon does best in that second half, pulling off a, a wonderful save, it has to be said, uh, for Ryan Porteous. I thought that was the moment, you know, um, not going to lie, I thought that was the moment that we were going to get back into the game, but we showed we showed a wee bit of, um, wee bit of something different today. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a devastated at this point in time, of course I am, of course I'm devastated that that we we didn't get the the result against a team you know that we all wanted to beat, of course. But am I as disappointed as what I thought I was going to be? No, because we showed something different the last week. We I think we matched Hearts' physicality of the day. Um, we matched Hearts, in my opinion, all over the park. Um, we more than matched them, if you want me to be blunt. Um, Unfortunately, again, they they just had a wee bit more in front of goal than what we did. Um, I think that's probably the best synopsis of the game that I could probably give. To be honest, we definitely needed a wee bit extra up top. We didn't have that. Although James Scott, in my opinion, had his best game in a Hibs jersey. I thought he led the line really well. Doyle Hayes, I thought, played well. Stevenson, I thought, was immense. Uh, Cadden, I thought, played really well. Clark, I thought, played well. Um, I did think Joe Neal played well until he got sent off. More on that in a minute. Um, but listen, I mean, as I say, I think we more than matched what Hearts gave us today. Um, is that kind of the point where everything now clicks for Sean Maloney in terms of what he wants to achieve at Hibs? I don't know. Uh, listen, I know I know it stings right now, and it does. Listen, it, it stings for everybody, do you know what I mean? Um, I said in last week's video, you know, I could take getting beat if, um, you know, we fought and we did fight, you know, we fought all over the pitch today as far as I'm concerned and again we showed that we, we really, didn't, well, we tried to show that we're no pushovers and I felt that we we done that but listen, it is what it is, you know, let's, let's, no, let's no bullshit, let's no fuck about, it is what it is, the season unfortunately has been an unmitigated disaster from a Hibs point of view the league we haven't been good enough. We've done well in the cup competitions, obviously the semi final, the Scottish Cup, League Cup final. We've done we've done good in the cup competitions, but we can't become a cup team. We can't go back to what we were a couple of years ago. We have to start performing in the league and hopefully, you know, the next couple of weeks will it'll send us home with at least a wee bit of um, optimism for the future. You know, I'm optimistic for the future, seeing there what I saw. I do think we, there's a, there's going to be a big massive rebuild at Easter Road during the summer, and I hope that that's so. Um, I hope you know. I think it is time you know we sort of cut the sentimentality with a lot of players. I know, obviously, I said there that I felt Louis Stevenson done. Re Louis Stevenson was fantastic in that game, and he was. But you know, he's a player that probably needs to take a step back. Paul Hanlon, I felt played well as another one that needs to take a step back. I like see your Darren McGregor's, everything like that. They need to be moved on or retired, you know, however what way you want to look at that. Um, 
for me, the game changed the day on John Yule getting sent off. I I still don't think it was a second yellow. I think John Beaton couldn't wait to give it. That's my honest opinion. Maybe I'm looking at that through green tinted specs. Maybe I need to, to look at it over and over again. But in my opinion at the time, I, I don't think it was a, a second yellow. Um, for me, there was a few Hearts boys that could have been sent off the day as well. Obviously, they weren't there. That, uh, is it Cochrane? He got booked and then deliberately handballed, deliberately handballed the ball for a couple of seconds later. For me, I should have been a second yellow and, and off he went. But, listen, it is what it is. Again, I can't, I can't go on too much about negatives because, for me, the one big negative was we didn't start the game well enough. We were rightly 2-0 down. We showed a lot of guts to get back into the game at 2-1. And in that second half, I thought Hibs were outstanding. I really did. Um, just again, the same problem that's blighted us all season. We didn't have a goal scorer. Um, we really didn't have a, a, a real genuine goal scorer. And unfortunately, it's came back to bite us on the arse yet again. Um, but, listen, it is what it is. Um, I'll leave the video there, guys. You know, I think a lot of people will have either varying views or differing views to what I've just said. Obviously, I know people are going to want to say that, you know, we should have been winning, you know, we weren't good enough to win, which is, is again, is a, is, a, is a good point of view, but listen, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I, I think we're all, it, it stings right now, but I think in the the big picture, you know, we'll see that the day was a no bad, a no badish performance, I suppose. It gives us sort of a wee shot in the army optimism to show that, you know, that we, this system that we're trying to play the now could work. I think, obviously, you know, that's what it is. What it is. That's all I can really say on it right now. I'll leave the video there. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, you know, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And, um, yeah, I'll just see you next time uh, for uh, the next home game or whatever game that might be. But on that side, you know, try, try and enjoy the rest of your weekend and lo your long weekend, whatever it might be, whether it be in Easter. But just chins up, lads. Chins up and uh, let's just see what the future brings. Eh? Right, take care, guys.